But this is the one we're looking for. Look at that. Oh, it has three burners on the back. Okay. But yeah, here's what we're looking for right here. That looks pretty sweet. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to find an amazing looking fighter. It has the coolest wings and it's a needle nose, so hopefully you're pumped up for that. And it is really dark gray. I'm going to call it black because it is basically black. So, all credit where credit is due. This is actually one I found on the NMS Coordinates Exchange, per usual. I always go over there to check it out. And specifically, this is from Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar. He's the one who found this, and it's a little bit older. It's about two months old, but it is awesome. And so, we're going to go check it out and see if we can get an S-Class. So, it, as always, when you're trying to go ship hunting, you want a, a portal, you want all the glyphs, and you want to be in the starter galaxy. This is only going to be in Euclid. You can't be in any other galaxy. And... Always go into your pause menu, go over to your options and your network. Make sure your multiplayer is disabled. Make sure that's disabled because if you go somewhere, especially for a popular place to look for ships, a lot of people are going to be there. And if you show up and a great ship lands, you're going to be fighting someone else for it. So leave it out. Just don't even worry about it, all right? Don't, don't have those people there. If your multiplayer is turned off, they can't steal a ship from you. So here are the coordinate or the glyphs. You're either gonna want to uh, pause the video or take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. Okay. So we're gonna go pretty slow. We're gonna do the weird face. Then it's gonna be the bird. Then it is the moon. Then the teepee. Then the triforce. Then it's the flux capacitor. Then the TP again. Then the Triforce. Give me another Triforce. Uh, the boat. The weird face. And this is going to be the last one, so get ready to take that screenshot or pause the video. It is the whale. Hey, yeah, and again, as always, all credit goes to Admiral... Akbar. He's the one who found it, and of course he would have that name, because this thing looks like a TIE Fighter. It is awesome. So with all that in mind, remember, you're in Euclid, and you turned off multiplayer. Let's head through this portal. So we've made it here. Now, we're going to need to go to a trading post because that's where a lot of ships are going to be landing and this is not a crashed ship by the way not a crashed ship so you need to actually wait for the good one so we're going to pop into our uh, our awesome ship this is the one we found last time i have a video up top and down below in the description if you like this fighter so once you've taken off what we need to find is the trading post so let's actually you need an economy scanner for that so Right here, you need your economy scanner, which means have that installed. It makes it easier. You don't, you don't absolutely need it. You can go looking for a training post, but it makes it a lot easier because you can just hit down on your D-pad for that quick menu, go all the way over to the gear icon, and then scan for trading posts. And they'll tell you exactly where the nearest one is. Well, let's look around. Where do they mark? Oh, man, there is one right next to the portal. Wow, okay. That's actually pretty cool. So there you go. That's actually a quick way to do it. If you just want to go to this trading post, just head north, a little uh, northeast, and you're good to go. So once you land on the trading post, you want to make a, uh, a save beacon. So you press up on your D-pad, go over to your uh, portable uh, stuff, your portable tech, and just put down a save beacon. Oh, wait, you need metal plating to make that. So let's actually make some metal plating. We need two of them. Now we can put down our save beacon. Now, I always make a save beacon just because you don't know what's going to happen. Something can glitch out, your game can crash, anything random. The power can go out. So make a manual save right here. That way you're good to go. And now let's look around. 
That's not a fighter we want. That's a hauler. We're not looking for that. There's a, a weird halo fighter right there, and there's a shuttle. So none of these are the ship we want, and that's fine. What you can do is just wait around. Now, there's different techniques I've gone over before. Getting your ship and flying out into the atmosphere and then coming back will make a, uh, a reset of all the ships, so they will load up differently. Or you can just wait for about two to five minutes, depending on how patient you are, and then just reload your save. I'm gonna do the second way. I'm just gonna wait around, and then, you know, look at the ships that come in, and after about two to three minutes, you'll kind of get a, a gist of what's here, and you can just reload. You can also pull out your scanner and look at the horizon, because, oh, there's nothing flying around. Okay, usually there's ships flying around waiting to land, and you can kind of get a good look at them and see if they're the ship you're looking for. We got nothing going on, so I'm going to reload and hopefully I will see you guys when we get the cool needle nose fighter. Six and a half hours later. Well, looky here, guys. Look at this. Now, you won't be able to see it till it gets close to landing because there's a certain point where they hide the stats. I don't know why. Oh, it's a C class. Okay, so it's a C class. It's the first one we've run across. Now, they're going to randomly generate, so sometimes it'll be a C, sometimes it'll be a B, sometimes it'll be an A, and very rarely it'll come in as an S class. But this is the one we're looking for. Look at that. Oh, it has three burners on the back. Okay. But yeah, here's what we're looking for right here. That looks pretty sweet. But we want to get a better one. This is a C class. This is the, the bottom of the barrel, so this is the minimum. We're going to get a, We're going to get at least an A class today, though. I can feel it. All right, let's see what happened here. We have a a B class. Okay, that's better than a C. Not like an A like I wanted, but it's B class. Let's talk to the guy, a scout. And we're going to make an offer on his sh ship. Whoa, I like this already. Look at all those inventories. They're all together. There's no holes. I love it. All right, I love it a lot. And that's what it looks like. Now let's negotiate the price. Now you see, I can only exchange. I can't actually buy it fresh because I have six starships total right now. And you see it has 18 slots. It's only worth 1.4 million, but that's for a B class. I mean, a, an A and an S class will cost you more. Like for example, my other one, my, my S class, I haven't done any upgrades to it at all. It's worth 12 million, so you got to figure around that ballpark. If you get an S class to spawn, it's going to be around 10 to 15 million. But let's exchange. So this is our ship for now. Now again, I did move my uh, my save beacon because the top of the trading post seems like the best place because you can actually look at all the different locations around. But so once I once you've bought the uh, the ship you want, make a manual save real fast. That way. At the minimum, you're going to walk away with this one. And you can keep waiting for longer and, hey, reloading and doing all that stuff. Just to try to get a better ship. Because they will still come in. Even if you bought that one, they will still start coming in, okay? So, don't worry about that. But we're going to check this baby out. Let's look. Oh, it's a three engine. I like it. This thing is really agile. I like that. Look at that. We're going to pop up here. Now let's actually go into first person. Let's see what the cockpit looks like. So this is the cockpit. Kind of the same as my other fighters. Yeah, it has a like dome... Uh, like, uh, what would you call it? Cover? A dome bubble kind of cover. So that's pretty cool. There you go. But we also want to, you know, look at the outside. So let's go to photo mode. I love doing it inside first person mode because it kind of glitches out. You're stuck in the model. There you go. Boom. Let's pull it out. Oh, we gotta move the, um, the sun right over there. That looks good. But yeah, this is... Look at that thing! That looks pretty cool. Now, it's not as dark as I would like. I would. I want, like, a jet black uh, ship, but as far as I know, they don't exist. Not yet. But, man, that would be nice to have a jet black one. Look at this thing, though. Look at that! 
That thing looks pretty sweet. I like the wings because, I mean, they're they're the TIE Fighter wings, but they're angled forward. That is really cool. I've never seen wings like that. Yeah, they're angled forward. Look at that. Boom. That looks pretty sweet, I got to say. That is a really cool looking ship. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I'll see you guys next time.